So you've successfully wired up a Pipedream workflow with a webhook. And you're wondering, how can you use this information downstream and other steps? Well, I'm going to show you how. In this example, our webhook is, is accepting information, and it's received a first name field, a last name field, and an email address. We're going to use this to pipe into a Google Sheet. So let's open this Google Sheet. I've already gone ahead and attached it to an account and a spreadsheet as well as a sheet name. So all we need to do now is somehow bring in those first name, last name, and email address into the values section. So here we can click inside of the enter text or expression for a value, and you can see all of the what's called the step exports within this dropdown. Our step export we care about is the trigger step, our HTTP webhook, and within the event, we could see all kinds of data, including the headers, but right here is the data we care about. So we can click select path. This is the path to this particular data point, and it injects it into the field. And this is how Pipedream knows where to find this data under the steps, trigger, event, body, first name field. And these two curly brackets mean it should interpret it dynamically. It's not just the string called steps, trigger, event, it's actually a data point. So let's add that, and then let's, let's also do the last name. Instead of manually searching through this long list of data, we can instead type in to the search here, last name, for example, and it will search the data, and we can select the path even faster. So let's do it again for email. Now we're ready to test this, this workflow. We're going to click the test button. And now we should see one row with the first name, last name, and email added to the sheet. You can see here it was successful. I can go to my sheet and sure enough, first name, last name, email address. And that's it. So now that we've learned how to use step exports to transfer data from our webhook to a pre-built pipe dream action, Let's use step exports within a Node.js step. Returning back to our workflow here, we'll create a brand new step and we'll use the Node step and we will run a custom Node step. Here we could access the data within the steps object. This contains the same data that we saw visually in the Google Sheets action. So let's go ahead and just console log this information. Say console log steps, the step we care about is the trigger, the HTTP, HTTP trigger action. And then we can access the event data. From within the event data, there is the body of the HTTP request. So we can console.log this information. We'll run a test real quick here. And we should see the object of the first name, last name, and email address within our step log section. And sure enough, here it is. So here's how you can access individual HTTP body webhook data within a Pipedream node code step. You can do things like alter this data, send API requests to other services of this data. It really is a blank template. I hope this was helpful.